Hello everyone, welcome to Ilian and the Magic Box. Today on our show, you're going to have Sean. Sean is from England in the UK. So let's see what Sean has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello? Hi, yeah. Uh... Hello, Sean, how are you? Not bad, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Thanks for taking the time to do the interview with me on Sunday. That's okay. Right. And I say your name right? Is Sean? Sean, yeah. Okay, okay, Sean, just before we start this journey called Real in the Magic Box, just tell me where are you from? I'm from, originally from Mansfield in Nottinghamshire, but I live in Chesterfield. Mm. And what's the best part of living in Ch Ch Chesterfield? Well, I've only been here a year, so uh, it's, a, it's a little market town. Um, it's got a crooked spire. It's famous for the crooked spire, which is a church with a spire which is crooked. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. I like it. It's uh, it's been hard through lockdown, but um, hopefully it's, it's going to be uh, you know getting better over time. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, <laughs> so for sure. And what do you do for a living? I start a new job on Monday, so uh, which is upholstery and uh, material cutting for uh, camper vans. <clears throat> so I make the uh, chairs, the, the seats and beds uh, for, for camper vans, which they convert into uh, camper vans. Uh, it's transit vans converted into camper vans, shall I say. Oh, interesting. And you've been doing that for um, as your full-time job or as the first? Well, yeah, I've got, yeah, I, I've just finished um, doing caring for caring the community for elderly people. Um, okay. Moved on from that to to this new one, which I start tomorrow. Very good. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sean. So, so welcome to Ilya and the Magic Box. my lovely box full of random fun questions okay so mm -hmm. i'm just gonna play some music now just for us to get in the mood before the first question ready yeah let's do it right so let's go for the first question first question is um what can make you cry and what can make you really happy uh well, happy things can make me cry. <laughs> um, uh, what can make me cry? Um, seeing people in distress, and you know, you see these all these adverts on TV with uh, animals, and that you can't really do anything about uh, being mistreated and all that sort of thing. That upsets me. Um, what makes me ha uh, happy crying is uh, seeing people being reunited with long lost family and all that sort of thing. That's that's sweet and, you know, it's it's so lovely to see. Cool. Are you kind of person that cries very easily? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very emotional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit rubbish. <laughs> no, just emotional. I think some people, and me as well, sometimes uh, if I, if I can feel other people's happiness, if they're happy for some reason, or if they achieve something, it can make me emotional. Even if I don't know them, or if I see on TV or something, I can get very emotional as well. That's for yeah. sure. Oh. Let's go for another question. Let's do it. <laughs> right, next question for you is, um, what makes you most uncomfortable about dating? Uh, when they ask me questions about myself, actually. I'm not very <laughs> good at talking about myself, so that makes me uncomfortable until I'm comfortable with them. Uh, and the, you know, once, I'm, once I get used to somebody and comfortable in their company, then I'm, I'm, I'm all right. But it's the initial meeting, I think. I think sometimes the expectation is high, you're nervous. You, you, you overthink things and you get nervous and stuff, yeah. It's, uh, 
absolutely and sometimes you feel as well you are in a kind of the interview isn't it you put yeah. yourself like a i mean even interview someone or be interviewed because yeah. of course the only way you can get to know the person yeah like this situation as well so yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's go for the other question okay Sean, just before the next question, um, so far, since you've been leading Chef's Field for um, one year, uh, so far, what's the most challenging part and what's the best of living over there? Uh, well, I've never lived on my own before, so I'm living on my own and that's been challenging because I've always had the company of friends or partner. Um, I'm single now, so it's it's been difficult. Um, but best part is um, I bought a house so um, I'm happy living here and trying to make it nice and um, you know starting a new life really so I used to live in London um, for 20 years uh, so I moved back from there um, so it's been it's been challenging but um, you know with the pandemic and stuff um, it's been difficult times but hopefully we're getting through there and um, time to look up you know absolutely yeah. yeah i think we are very soon get to the nor normal world again i think the things are getting to, to back, back to normal um mm -hmm. soon so it's it's a good start and why chef's field uh, chesterfield <clears throat> um well it's, it's close to my family i didn't want to live completely in the pocket of my family so it's, it's about half an hour 40 minute drive from where they are um and uh I like Chesterfield. I've been here. Um, I've sort of seen somebody at the time, and I like the area, so I ch chose to sort of move here. Um, it's close to family, but not that close that I'm sort of in their pocket or they're in my pocket, sort of thing. So it's, um, and I'm right in the centre as well. So I'm in the middle of everything. So the pubs and the bars and the, you know, the restaurants and everything. When they open up again, um, are literally walking distance. So yeah. That's great. And how um, and how far is from London? It is about, I think on the train, it's about two hours, two and a half hours. So it's not too far. Oh, OK. Not far. Next question for you is, how would your best friends describe yourself? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> funny, fun, um, Kind uh, and loyal. Great. And are they are they back in London or they're spread around or in Chelsea? My main mates are in Manchester. Um, I've got some in where I'm in the village where I'm from, um, which I've not seen for a while. Uh, they're not that far away, but um, yeah some there as well i've got and some in london also um but obviously i've not been able to see them really but hopefully soon great for sure that's for sure well we are almost there yeah. <laughs> next question sean next question for sean right um right again about dating my god all the, the data question about dating come up to you Right. In your opinion, what's the worst thing someone can say on a first date? I have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, so what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not, not a good situation to be in. I'm sure, I'm sure, oh my god, I, I, I never thought about that, actually, imagine, you could to take someone goes like, sorry, I've got a boyfriend, like, and what's this? <laughs> <laughs> will be a disaster. <laughs> funny, funny one. Very fun. <laughs> Let's go for another one. Right, Sean, just before the next question, um, as you can see, you have a lovely, beautiful beard. Um, you always had it, you always had a long beard? No, uh, not always. No, uh, I don't even know how long I've had it. I must have had it probably about around 10 years. Um, right. Yeah. And, what, and uh, uh, how long does it take for you to, like, daily to kind of get nice and tidy and beautiful like that? I don't really do anything. I just uh, comb it, uh, which is here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah. That's it. That's all I do. And then done. That's amazing. Yeah. Some, sometimes I feel like growing up, but I think the maintenance must be a quite difficult to maintain. I have actually dyed it. Um, I see. We do have a bit of grey in it, but it's... Uh, <clears throat> I did dye it a couple of days ago. It needs to calm down a bit. It's a bit dark at the moment, but hopefully it'll lighten up a bit. It's yeah. um, it's uh, it's it's interesting because nowadays, my God, I think there's so many products for beard, isn't it? The other day I was looking online. I was like, oh my God, there's so many like oils, like shampoo, everything you can imagine. I was like, my God, and yeah. I think the, the beard community is very big as well. I've done yeah, some interviews yeah. with people, and um, yeah, like different beards, different longs, ways, shapes, and as well. I think it's interesting. Right, next question for you is, what does happiness mean to you? Um, well, it's good to be happy, isn't it? You know, everyone wants to be happy. Um, it's, well, everything really, you know, in life, you just want to be happy in general, you know, no, no, no matter what you do or where you go, you just, you do want to be happy. You don't, you can't live your life being miserable and, um, you know, negative all the time. You want to be happy. And I, I, I want to be happy and generally I am, so I'm a happy person, so yeah. Do you believe that happiness is a choice? <laughs> some people I think, yeah, you know, some people you do, you know, I think some people are generally down and angry you know, with, with the world and stuff like that, and which makes an impact on themselves. And I think they overthink things and instead of sort of looking at things in a better light, they dwell on that and uh, they sort of, it, it takes over. So yeah, I, I, I generally not try not to do that um, and think of the positive sides and try and stay positive and, and be happy, yeah. I agree with you, I agree with you. I think all of us, of course, we're gonna, we're gonna go through some tough times in life yeah. but i believe that sometimes if you uh, even though when you are there which is you know when you are in that moment i know it's hard for you to try to get to be positive or to see the positive side of it but i believe that if you kind of uh, accept the downside sometimes when you have it and you kind of try to approach in a positive way i think the pain's less and and you feel more even your mind feel a bit clearly to kind of get out of it is to try to approach in a positive way and accept as well I agree with you. Are you enjoying the show so far? Yeah, yes, I'm relaxing a little bit. Great, <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> Let's go for another one. Let's get another question for you. Okay, Sean, what's the most beautiful thing someone ever said to you? <clears throat> um, it's quite a personal thing, but when, if someone says they like um, to make love to me, it's that means a lot. And you know, it, it's not just sex, and it's not just a quick, you know, a quick thing. When someone means it and they want to make love to you, and uh, uh, that that touches me. I like that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's sweet. Very sweet. I agree. I agree with you totally, totally. Let's get another question. For the next question, tell me what you miss the most about London so far since you've been away. Um, I miss the lifestyle. Um, you know, it's hustle and bustle. I lived in Soho, so um, oh from moving from there to here is a bit of a life. You know, it's a big change, um, but I'm quite adaptable, so I, I'm getting used to it. And you know, I do miss London. I don't know if I could move back there. Um, but because it's very expensive and, you know, even though I had a good job and stuff like that, it, it's, I think it was time to move out because I was, it, it, it's just so easy to go out and enjoy yourself too often and too much <laughs> and it can take you <laughs> out. So, um, but yeah, I, I do miss the lifestyle and, the, and the, the, the hustle and bustle and the busyness of people and the multicultural uh, society of everything, you know, yeah, I miss all that. Right. Next question for you is, um, what are three fun facts about yourself? Fun <clears throat> facts. Um, I'm funny. Um, I 
get along with most people um, and I try to stay positive and um, always smile you know um, I, I always have a smile for people um, oh, that's nice very good good one next question okay so next question for you is right if you could be any age which age would you choose and why right any age um, I'm 45 at the end of this month. Um, my 30s were good. Um, I'd probably like to be my mid-30s. Um, you know, it's the middle of the road. It's, uh, it's uh, an age where you are mature enough to know what you want in life and uh, where you want to go and stuff. So yeah, I think mid-30s, late, mid to late 30s, yeah. Right. So uh, yeah, you're in London at this time because you've been yeah. here for 20 years. So you you're here. Yeah. Next question for you. <laughs> Next question for you, Sean. Um, what makes you really angry? Uh, stupid people. <laughs> people. Um, arrogant people. Uh, and people that think they're better than you and they're proved wrong. It's just, why Why can't you just be nice and why can't you just be, you know, and treat people how you want to be treated instead of being that person that nobody likes. It's, it's very annoying and it really boils me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so you are kind of person that you get angry very easily, or it, it takes time. It needs to be something really. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't get angry very easily. It just takes time. If things sort of persist as as they shouldn't, and there's no need for it, then I do get annoyed. And it's like, you know, come on. There's no need for all this. And it's, it's just silly. And you know. I just like an easy life, um, a good life, and there's no need for negativity and, and being and being nasty. So, yeah, sure. <clears throat> absolutely, I agree with you. I think nowadays, you know, we need to. Um, we are already surrounded for so many of it, so the most we can avoid, I think, it's it's um, it's a good place to be. Yeah. Next question for you. Next question for you, Sean. Um, if you if you were in a circus, which character would you like to be and why? <laughs> oh, um, probably a trape uh, trapeze artist, because <clears throat> um, they have the physique, they have the the talent, they have uh, <sighs> the body. You know, um, <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's just very, I think it's, athletics is a very good way to keep uh, healthy and uh, fit. So I think I'd like to be swinging up around the trapeze and, and bouncing on the trampoline and stuff like that. So, yeah. And it'd be very adventurous as well to kind of <coughs> be doing oh, those yeah. sort of things. That's for sure. Yeah, interesting people as well, don't you, to catch you and stuff like that. And yeah, I'd, I'd like, yeah, I think I'd like that, yeah. Great. I don't think I would. <laughs> I would go for something more in the, on the ground. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. All right. Right. Um, so before the next question, um, during those 20 years that you were in London, um, what is the, the uh, in your opinion, what's the, the was the best part of it, and what was the most challenging part during these twenty years you were in London? Well, the best part was the money. <laughs> um, <laughs> you earn a lot. The money was a lot better there in London. Um, you earned more. Um, so yeah, the money was, and and meeting a variety of different kinds of people, you know, when you're going out, this, you always meet um, people from different countries and different lifestyles and that was that was educating and, and fun and yeah, I, I enjoyed that. 
And what was the second part? <laughs> and what's the, the 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 challenge, the cha the most challenging part during this time? Um, it was trying to keep a relationship, I suppose, <laughs> because it was so there's so many there's so much opportunity and so many people about that it was so easy to get yourself into trouble and uh, so so much <clears throat> so much you know easy interaction I would say yeah 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 it's yeah it's that was challenging to sort of that's probably one of the reasons that I had to leave because I I wasn't happy with myself when I was out and stuff you know it, it was so easy to um, cheat I suppose and I didn't want to do that you know it, it's it, it didn't it wasn't good for me and it's not good for for the other people you know it's yeah that was that was one of the things as well so yeah, yeah. I agree very challenging that's for sure yeah right tell us about your first kiss and your first love Oh, I don't know. My first kiss, uh, it was probably with a girl. Uh, God, that was... <laughs> I barely remember, but yeah, um, I don't think I was very good. <laughs> it, was all, it was all very quick and very moist. <laughs> <laughs> it was all, all very... Uh, I, yeah, it wasn't a, a good experience until I learned how to do it, you know. Course. When you see it in when you see it in Hollywood films, that's not how it's done. But um, you think it is, and you give it a go, and you know you're thinking this is don't feel right. But yeah, I, I don't think I did very well. <laughs> how about your first love? My first love. Um, well, I was with him for seven years. Uh, I think it was more lust than love because uh, I was young. I thought it was love. Um, but yeah, um, you learn over time that it, it, it wasn't, but at the time I thought it was, so it was my first love to me, but my experience now, I realise that it wasn't, but you know, we had good times together, we were, it was my first partner and we were together for, 40, uh, for seven years, um, yeah, so he, he was my first love, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, I think I've, I think when you get older, when you look back in your relationships, um, mm. we have this feeling that oh, I don't think it was love, you know. But at the time, when you are in the at the moment, it's mm. it's a it's a yeah. true love in a way because you are involved with the person. You are you know learn even not the the situation itself. You learn yourself as well. You kind of get you know get experience and uh, around emotions as well. Everything connected. And um, I thought about that at one point actually. I said, my God, sometimes people think. Like we, when I look back, I don't know it wasn't love, but at the time it felt love. It felt like it was love at the time because we're yeah. learning like whole parts of the. This Which is all part of your life, isn't it? Yeah, part of life. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it, I, I believe as well, each relationship when you go through, not just the relationship, but um, sometimes flirting or like you know like little relationship it doesn't matter i think everything mold you for the right you know for the right yeah. relationship in the future let's say yeah. i think we we need to go through those process of learning you know breaking yeah 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 like breaking heart i know it's sometimes painful when you are like broken heart and everything but yeah. no part of the journey next question Next question for you is, um, who was your favorite teacher and why you consider that? My well, at school? Yeah, at school. Um, I think it's probably Mrs. Osborne uh, oh. and Mrs. Quigg. Mrs. Quigg was my English teacher and Mrs. Osborne was... I can't exactly remember what she was teaching. I think it was... No, I can't remember. But yeah, um, they stick in my head. Um, they were just easygoing, fun. Um, and, you know, you could have a laugh. And But also, they, t they taught you um, without being patronising or... Um, you know, it, it was just a, a good... It's, it's weird what you remember, but... 
<clears throat> they was just good teachers, I thought, um, and I enjoyed going to their classes. I was never very good at school, but I did enjoy going to their classes. Um, so yeah, uh, Mrs. Quigg and Mrs. Osborne. I think Teachers Day, um, they have such a big impact in our lives. We don't realize at the time, but in the future, when you look back, you just go like, oh my God, that's uh, actually, I love being in school. I remember, um, I remember my first teacher, I remember my first day at school. And funny enough, I had, I had a lot of favorite teachers. And um, one of my favorite teachers when I was a teenager was, uh, she was teaching physical education. So it was a lot of sports involved, a lot of things. And I loved it. I, loved playing, I played volleyball for years and years. And I just loved her. Like she was so, uh, and I remember somehow, you know, you, you, like being gay, sometimes you were bullied at school. And I remember sometimes she was always protecting me. I remember at the time I didn't, but when I look back now, oh my God, she was always like, you know, after if she could see something was happening, she was getting involved. She was kind of in, in a very soft way, in a very, you know what I mean, proper way. She was kind of, I didn't realize at the time, I just thought that she was doing her job or just being around and protecting kids. But when I look back, she had a special, a special touch. So she was kind of, okay, I'm gonna yeah. have a special um, treat for, for me, in, you know, for being gay at the time. And guess what to happen? Um, the, since I started this, this show, uh, and uh, I've been doing, I, I'm doing English and uh, I have a project to do in Portuguese as well, which is my first language. So I started out some shoots already and I invited her and I did already with her. And I, to be honest, I invited her and she, she accepted. And uh, so through, the, through, the, convert, through the, the, the game, as I'm doing with you, we were talking about the time, things like sharing stories. And I told her, I told her about that, that I, every, and she didn't know. I said, oh my God, I, she actually, she almost cried. She said, oh my God, William, I, I never thought that I was have this impact in your life at that time because I was just being a teacher. I just want everyone to be uh, treated equally. And I said to her, I, I'm not, as I said, I know you were, but you cannot imagine how much I felt protected just to have you around me, just to know that you were there because I was so fascinated in sports. I love the sports, I, I still do. And at the time, I loved playing volleyball. And of course, in Brazil, like the, the boys always go for football and uh, the <laughs> girls are going for volley volleyball. And I just, I, I just stick to volleyball because it was my passion. I loved it, playing volleyball for years. And she was there. And she was there like, okay, you want to volleyball? Please come. And she mm -hmm. was kind of encor encouraged me to, to do it. And I told her over the, over the interview, and she was like, oh my God, she was almost crying because she, for her, she was like, oh my God, I, I never realized that. I never thought that I would have this impact that you did, and you did a lot. And actually nowadays, I, I think I love sport as much as I do. And I played volleyball for so many years because I knew you were there. I knew you were there to support me. I knew you were there if I need any, you know, kind of sport, you were there for me. And I felt secure as well. So yeah, yeah. you see how things get back to, to us in the future. Yeah. Sometimes you even don't know. Yeah. Another. Yes, yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, yeah. We talked about, and I think it, it's nice. Uh, I, yeah, I have special um, a special feeling for my teachers through my 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 school time because uh, yeah, it was special. Okay. Next question, Sean. Let's do it. Right. Next question for you is: Have you ever stole anything when you were a child, and how did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, um, yes, and I got caught. Um, <laughs> <Me too. laughs> um, I was with my cousin at the time. It was in a shop. Um, it wasn't anything major. It was like, only like pencils and crayons. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got caught and. Uh, I can remember the feeling, it was horrible, just horrible. being... Because I, if, if my parents found out, they would have killed me. Um, oh God, yeah, the feeling's horrible thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, it was only only a few bits and bobs, you know, like a pencil case and pencils and stuff. Just the stuff for school. Um, yeah, and yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I had as well, remember, I remember once as well. I, I, I felt I, I stole this little, it was a sweet or something, I don't remember. And I got cut as well. The owner of the, the little shop saw me and uh, he told my dad. And I, I was so scared. I'm so scared of my dad. And actually, I'm glad he did. He did find out afterwards because I was so scared of him that I think he realized I was very scared and said to me, okay, I know you're very scared, but 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything bad to you. I just wanted to know that you don't need to do that. If you if you don't you know come to me or if I don't, if I cannot um, give to you, we find a way. But the way you did it was not the right way. But you know, of course, I feel yeah. tempted sometimes when you're a child, just kind of feel tempted somehow. You know, it's like these prohibited things. You just kind of tend to just sneaking. <laughs> I think most of the people they had this experience. Fair moment thing, isn't it? You know, you think. I want it, and I, I don't have the money, and I don't, yeah. I don't ask my friend for the money. Uh, and you think, I'll try and get it. I'll, I'll try. But you know, you, you do know it's wrong. But it's it, it's an adrenaline rush, isn't it? And uh, it, it, it's it's being dared to as well. So yeah, absolutely. The thing that you do as kids. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, Sean, I have three questions left for you. Let's okay. do it. Next question for you is: Do you have any nicknames? Do I have any? I did. I, I, well, when I lived in London, um, I worked in Hamley's toy shop, uh, and they, well, a couple of them used to call me Sean the Sheep because we live, we worked on the same floor as the plush, you know, as, as some of the uh, characters from. Um, Wallace and Gromit. So, uh, yeah, Sean the Sheep. Uh, at school, infants, it was like Sean the Prawn or, you know, things that rhymed. Um, but nothing now, uh, just sort of nicknames from school and when I was in London. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have brother and sister as well? I have two sisters, yeah. And they always called you Sean? No, when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, not a problem. <laughs> right, two questions left for yeah. you. Let's do it. Right, next question for you is, um, if you could have tea with a fictional character, who that would be and why? Fictional character? Uh, Wonder Woman, Oliver. Oh, why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. But since I was a kid, um, I've always been had a slight obsession with Linda Carter. Um, I don't, and, and I'm Wonder Woman. It's weird. I, don't, I really don't understand how or why. Um, you know, you, you think it'd be more of a male superhero character, or but yeah, I'm just slightly obsessed with Wonder Woman. <laughs> so yeah, Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched the, the one of the her latest movies? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, what fun. I went overdrawn on my account to watch the film on telly, you know, um, when when it was a, when you could download it. So, yeah, I went uh, overdrawn to actually watch it. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Ready for the last one? Yep. Let's get it done. Do it. Like dancing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's been, see. it's been a while. <laughs> right. Next, the last question is: What gives you butterflies? Um, meeting. I'm I'm single, and you know, you speak to people online and stuff like that, and whatever. Um, and you know, it's nice to get the butterflies when they're nice to you and. Um, the genuine, but you, you don't meet, you don't meet many people that are genuine online. Um, so it's very difficult. But when you do get that person, and they say things to you and that are nice, and that gives you butterflies. That gives me butterflies anyway. It's just it's just nice to know that you're appreciated and they like you for who you are. And yeah, it's that's. Yeah, it, it's just a nice thing. It's just, yeah, the butterflies are, are when people are nice to you and and you like that person back. And also going on rides, <laughs> the nervousness <laughs> of going on a, a, a you know like a roller coaster um, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's nice as well. Very good. Um, as you said about uh, feelings, I, when when you hear like uh, genuine. 
uh, compliments uh, to yourself. And when you feel genuine, it gives a butterfly, that's for sure. Mm. When you feel the, gen the genuine uh, mm. feeling there, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, it is nice to hear. It's just a shame that it, it doesn't come to anything, you know. It's, but you know, it's <clears throat> online dating. It's it's not the thing for me. I don't think because there's so many fake out there um, that you don't know whether to believe them or not. But at the time, it's nice to feel that that feeling, you know. That's for um, sure. That's for sure. Right, so it's not the end yet. Let's play now the quick thinking game. So I'm going to give away some words and you just tell me one word that comes to your mind related to this word and I'm going to tell you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Very easy. Let's start with family. Uh, love. Okay. Money. Love. <laughs> <laughs> and how about love? Money. Um, Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Happiness. 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 Okay. How about life? Happiness. Okay. Sex. Great. <laughs> I, was, I thought you would say uh, happiness. <laughs> right. How about politics? Boring. Religion. I don't understand okay. it. Fear. Uh, you need fear. Important, I agree. Friendship. Very important. Desire. I like desire. Like, like, yeah, love desire. Ooh. Regrets. You need them. You need to have regrets as well. Okay. Success? Something I'd like, yeah. I'd like to be successful. Happiness? <clears throat> I want happiness. I want. Well, want. I, I, I can hear a cat meowing. Is, is a cat I saw on your profile? I'm not giving him any attention. Yeah, it's my cat. Oh, can I see? <laughs> One second. <laughs> It's a boy it's, or a girl? It's a boy. His name's Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Hello. <laughs> De hello, Bruce. Define showing a positive word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so sweet. Very sweet. Yes. Yeah, right. Very sweet. And um, wish? Uh, wish. I wish they'd come true. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And one word for London. Hectic. And the last one now, uh, Chesterfield, one word. It's nice. Cool. Let's pretend now I'm going to meet your best friend and I'm going to ask your best friend, tell me the most beautiful thing about Sean and tell me something that he needs to improve on. What do you think your best friends would tell me? Um, well, I need to improve on my confidence, my self-esteem, uh, to believe in myself more, <clears throat> uh, because I'm a fun-loving, nice person who treats everybody how they need to be treated or how they how I want to be treated. Good. Great. Okay, Sean, let's play now Sean and the Magic Box and you can ask me a question. Okay, you can ask me a question now, Sean. But how did you get into this? How? What made you want to do what you're doing? Great. Um, I've, I've, I've always been very creative. I always like to be um, con uh, in, con in touch with people. I love being, uh, how to say, I to say, I always been very approachable. I always, I always find people very interesting. I think I believe that people we have a lot to share. I think we are very. Um, everyone has a, a story to tell. I believe, and um, I had the, the, actually this this uh, this project. It came like genuinely from a very powerful place that I wasn't expecting. 
So the first lockdown, when the first lockdown started, um, I believe everyone went through tough times. No one was expect, no one was ready for the, for that moment, and um, and affects. I got affects a lot. I never found myself in a such dark place as I, as I found myself because um, I I was lost. I didn't know you know what, where the world was going. You know everyone full of insecurities. And um, as I told you before, I love sports. I love being, I love being moving. And uh, I went for a run one day in the park, and this idea literally just popped to my head. I said, and um, fun enough, I always been this interaction I'm doing right now in the show. I always, always done. Um, if I meet friends uh, for like weekend, or if I go out with friends, if I go holidays, in the end of the night or in the end of any occasion, I always go like, oh, tell me something interesting about yourself. I kind of this kind of interaction, and uh, so yes, this this kind of interaction I always done. It's, a, yeah. it's something who, my, my close friends they know me. That uh, that I've always been very um, communicate communica communicative. So if I go, as I said, going to the beach or meeting friends, I always go. I always kind of have this gift of just interacting with people and uh, so but I was expecting of course I wasn't expecting to do that as this proportion I'm doing right now as online and meeting different people around the world and I think that uh, so when this idea came along genuinely just came along I was like oh my god uh, that's what I'm going to uh, to do I'm going to 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 do something that uh, I'll be able to connect with people worldwide and I'm gonna have the chance to see um, to you know to give the opportunity for people to sharing their stories in life their moments their as I told you before everyone has a, such a, a, a beautiful story to tell you know mm -hmm. and I think that's uh, the, the whole thing of the show is just for people to connect with each other. It's just for people to, you know, and uh, it's been happening. It's happening mm -hmm. because, you know, I, I received like sometimes messages the same way as well, you contact me. You know, there are so many people as well um, sending contact with other people as well. And it's all the part of the show. It's just about, about people sharing their experience of life, just speaking out their point of views, their opinions, their beliefs. In the end of the day, they're not right or wrong answers, just different points of views. And I believe yeah. that people around the world, they have so much to share, they have so much different um, stories to tell. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. and people, yeah, and I'm sure people, when this uh, this interview goes live, I'm sure whatever <laughs> gonna be watching, there's someone gonna go like, I know what he's talking about. I went yeah. through that, I know what he meant, I know what, you know, it's, it's all about people um, interact with each other. So that's yeah. the whole thing of the show. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh. Did you have a good time? I did, yes, thank you. You made me so me feel so much comfortable more comfortable than when I started. So thank you yeah. for that. You're, you're a lovely guy, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks so much, Sean. Thank you. It's funny you say that because uh, usually people when they start of course everyone when they start the 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 shooting, you know, we started out, of course. It's um, you know even myself, I feel nervous as well, you know, I feel because I know the other person, you know, so I try to break the ice a little bit, I try to talk a little yeah. bit about, just to kind of, because at the end of the day, I just like to person to have a good time, you know, yeah. just to enjoy and uh, to have a good moment. And I'm planning, in a year time, I would like to, I'm planning to, like, one of the projects I have is to do a, 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 a second interview with my first guest, you know, invite you as well, just to see how much you change, how much, you know, sometimes we change our point of views, like, in one yeah. day, or in a week, or in a month, we change a lot our opinion and just to see how much people are changed that's the whole thing yeah no, that's yeah that sounds great yeah that's definitely a, a that will be a game changer because a lot of people are going through a lot of emotions at the moment and with with everything that's going on hopefully we'll be getting to more a better reality um awesome. normal in you know in another year so yeah a lot will what a lot will, will have changed by then i should imagine yeah so yeah, Absolutely. yeah really. Absolutely. but before you go i would like you to share a positive call to a positive message something that inspires you <clears throat> well you're an inspiration you inspire me um oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just people in general, you know, happiness and people who are positive, they're an inspiration to me, um, you know, because we are going through a bad time at the moment and it's just it's just nice to know that there are people out there such as yourself that are trying to help people and, you know, have a bit of fun and, and get on with life without um, the negativity of the whole thing that's going on so 
<clears throat> yeah, you're you're an inspiration. So well done, oh. and thank you. Just made my day now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Sean. Thank you very much. And um, it was a pleasure having you in the show. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Sunday, and I uh, hope to see you soon one day. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the best. Okay. Thank you. Keep in touch. Bye bye. Take care. Keep in touch. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> so, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com, and send us a request saying why you'd like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.